Good morning. My name is Tom. I come to you from northern Maine. Coming to you today from the best seat at the cabin, right here in the woodshed. As you can see, the sun is beaming down on me. I'm having a cup of coffee here. I just love having coffee out here. Usually I split my firewood and I uh, sit down here. I got a bench out here. It's a, just a good place to have a cup of coffee. But today's video is going to be about deer hunting. And, and this is just one of the things that I do. I always use, you probably watch some of my videos, and I say we, I, I get to know my deer. I want my deer to get to know me. So that's what today's video is about. I, I, I want to touch on this a little bit more because I know that it's a part of deer hunting that a lot of people just don't get. And I can tell that because of my comments. Uh, the comments that I get, I can just, I can feel that uh, people just aren't getting it. Because I, it's probably, what do you mean? What do you mean the deer get to know you? What do you mean you get to know the deer? Well, it comes from spending time in the woods. Here's one of the, here's one of the, one of the tricks that I that I use so that deer get to know me. Now, from a lot of you, this is going to be kind of gross, and that's all right. There's a lot of things about deer hunting that's not very pleasant. One for me is the actual kill. I'm not big on that. It's a means to an end. I I like to eat deer meat. I have to take one of my deer. Doesn't mean I enjoy it. It's something that I do. Kind of like being a farmer. You don't always enjoy taking your cow or your pig to the slaughterhouse. But it's a means to an end. You raise a cow, you got to put it in the freezer. You raise a pig, you got to put it in the freezer. All right, what am I holding? I'm holding a t-shirt. And this is all about the lean-to. Right now, this lean-to is, is what I'm working on. This t-shirt I have been wearing for more than a week. I would say probably eight days. I don't wear it at night. I take it off at night, put it over the chair, put it on the next day. And I've been wearing this t-shirt for eight days. Why? Tom, Mr. Tom, <laughs> why you been wearing that t-shirt for eight days? Well, in order for these deer to get to know me, they got to get to know my smell. So now that I've been wearing this for eight days, this thing, it's not very pleasant. Not at all. <laughs> so, <laughs> but what I'm going to do with this t-shirt is I'm going to take this t-shirt out to my lean-to. It's going to replace the t-shirt that's already out there. Now, I got video of this. When I came up this trip, I had left a game camera behind. Uh facing the lean-to. When I got to it, it had over a hundred clips of deer on it. Now I probably can't show you all hundred clips. <laughs> That's a heck of a lot of deer. Maybe over time, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull out the good ones that really, really show the deer playing around. But they're playing around. There's no food at that at that lean-to. All it is is a lean-to. And one of my t-shirts. I replace that t-shirt every trip I come back to the cabin. At the end of the trip, I wear a t-shirt here for the week. At the end of the trip, I take out, I swap it with the one that's there. My smell is all over that area. All over that area.
Now, I'm not trying to trick the bucks. I'm not saying this works for bucks yet. Give me some more time. I've only been hunting for 40 years. But what I'm trying to convince of safety and this smell is just Tom, is the does. Why the does? Because if the does continue to come through my area like there is absolutely nothing wrong because all they can smell is Tom, they're not going to flick their tails, they're not going to run. So when they come through, and my hope is, is that there's a buck in full rut. These does will come through 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, heading towards their bedding area or heading towards their food area, just like they always do. And if I'm camped out at that lean-to during the rut season, and these does have been smelling this all year, they're just going to walk, walk right on by, just like they've been doing. And with any luck, now I don't expect the buck to walk right on by the lean-to if I'm, if I'm sitting in it, or I've been sleeping in it all night. But what I would like that buck to do is to get to within shooting range, and then I can take care of the rest. But the first step in that is getting these deer completely used to my smell. It works for bear hunting. It works for deer hunting. So that's why I've been sitting here with this dirty t-shirt uh, going over that. So, and then, like I said, it all works around the rut. Everything has to work around the rut. Like I said, I'm not trying to convince the buck of anything. I'm just trying to convince these does that there's nothing wrong with Tom. And if they smell me today and they smell me tomorrow, it's exactly the same thing in November. That's one of the reasons why there's so many deer around here in the wintertime. Is that once there's a foot of snow on the ground and the deer move in from the back country and this, for whatever reason, they like this area. Probably, I would say it's probably, oh, I see five square miles around here. You can go for a ride in the wintertime, see all kinds of deer. Outside of deer season, uh, if you get out in the woods and play around, you're apt to find that deer are very curious. As long as you don't chase them and push them and all that, uh, let them know that they see you and you see them, but you're not going any closer towards them. They don't, they really don't go that far. You can bump them up and bump them up just by coming in from different angles. But I'm very impressed that <laughs> the deer were all around this, all around this lean-to last night. 